there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. We're actually checking out the TGS seal that's actually on the Hong Kong PSN. So, yeah, TGS 2017 has actually given us so much news about so many interesting things. But part and parcel of that is that we're, there's a TGS seal on the Hong Kong and Japanese stores because it's kind of like the, it's a big Asia deal. It's the same as we get the E3 seal being on. And uh, as part and parcel of that, there are some really good prices on some decent games uh, on sale at the moment inside the stores. So. I'm not gonna just literally the first thing I see is twenty dollars for a copy of Horizon Horizon Zero Dawn or twenty three dollars for a copy of Horizon Zero Dawn with the uh, the deluxe edition. I still have to play Horizon Zero Dawn. I think it's a gorgeous game. I've seen so many other people playing it. At this price, I am literally going like I'm figuring out what how much can I afford to convert over to be able to buy a Hong Kong um card for this uh, for the gift store or for the actual PSN network I'll probably buy, I'll buy the equivalency to like a, a $50 gift card and see what can I do what can I get for that $50 so essentially if you're going to do this if you're going to work this process with me um keep a mental tab and I'm probably going to try and work out $50 worth of stuff in a single purchase uh, there's something else in here that I need to grab because it's something I really want to do for the channel and I can't get it anywhere else but still $50 purchase uh, that's what my that what my limit would be of, of, of seal items it's easy enough to get a hold of one of those from Play Asia, from uh, an Amazon store or an eBay store. You can get one of those cards easy enough. So Horizon Zero Dawn, twenty bucks. Resident Evil Seven, twenty bucks. Two of the best games of the year for twenty bucks each. Fifty percent off. Two of the best games of the year. Flat out, anybody would actually not. I, find, I think people would find it very difficult to disagree that Resident Evil Seven and Horizon Zero Dawn were two of the best of the year so far. And we are approaching, <laughs> we're approaching October. We're not much, many months left. We know it's going to be busy again coming up to Christmas. But if you missed out on these in the past and you haven't played through them yet, maybe this is actually the time to do so. And moving on down through the list of games here. Uh, there, I, I'm trying to, I've gone through this three or four times without the camera roll. And the biggest problem I had was that this is very, very poorly sorted. I think they've actually added games since they started the seal, and by adding games, they've actually not organized it correctly, so some games disappear if you put filters on it to make it easier to search through. So, uh, yep, Sword Art Online, that's $15. For a lot of people, it might be a, a immediate buy. That's Lost Song and uh, Hollow Fragment for 15 bucks. Kind of about the price it should have been in the first place, because both of those are very short, short games, but um, no, I have literally no interest in them anymore. Summer Lessons, Hikari Miyamoto, one of the games that you can only buy on the Hong Kong store, to be able to play it over here because it's uh they've got english subtitles now for summer lesson it's a vr game it's something that i want to do here on the channel but at 33 dollars it's still a very big ask so I'm, i might wait a little bit longer see if it actually goes cheaper or if there's actually a wonderful donation from you happy people out there <laughs> you can you can actually sponsor a video and have that game played here on the channel um the last guardian for 15 bucks english and chinese version so you can you're not gonna have any problems if you understand it Decent price, uh, although Last Guardian, it does, it's, it's, not, it's not to everyone's fancy as far as I've heard. Last of Us for nine bucks, well, $9.95. Um, Last of Us Remaster comes, it's, a, it, it's one of the best games of its previous generation. It was a great game in the remaster on this generation. And we're going to be looking forward to hearing more about The Last of Us 2 whenever we get around to PSX uh, experience, the PlayStation experience for in December. We've got one big event for it now. <laughs> Yes, are you a potato? Welcome to potato guy. <laughs> uh, the Gravity Rush, $4.60. If you haven't already played Gravity Rush, this is a amazingly good price for it. Um, the first Gravity Rush felt a little bit fetch questy, but it together you can be buying Gravity Rush and Gravity Rush 2 for less than 20 bucks. That's actually, like the fact that they didn't bundle these together is a bit silly. They should have just bundled them together. Gravity Rush, uh, Gravity Rush 2 together on console. Great experience, great fun. If you want to see some of the stuff that we've done on it before, you can actually check out the demo and the uh, animated series that we Overture short film that we actually did a riff track and commentary of a while back. It's all here on the channel. Uh, let's see, what else was there of interest in here? Of course, Lego Star Wars is actually got a decent price for If you've got a couple of kids that actually like Star Wars, Lego Star Wars is going to keep them entertained. 10 bucks for the standard Titanfall 2 storyline. I've heard the campaign's fantastic. I actually played the demo and I fucking loved it. I really enjoyed the demo. So for 10 bucks, that would actually rank highly on my list for my $50 of purchase. Mirror's Edge Catalyst for $3.60. $3 for Mirror's Edge Catalyst. 
I know there's a lot of problems with that game, and a lot of people found it fairly repetitive and grindy to finish off, but that is a good, 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 good price. Yeah, XCOM is a great, is good, but at that price, can't. Especially whenever they were giving away this game as part of the Humble Bundle for less than that. Um, I've seen the I've seen X Five go better, and the digital looks maybe a great deal, twenty five bucks. But I can't, I can't, I can't even recommend it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Hassie, but I had to actually I skipped it because I don't think it's a good price. I don't think at that price it's worthwhile. Yeah, you, you will get it for cheaper and fairly soon. There was actually that new addition to XCOM too, and I don't think it's included in the digital deluxe. It'll actually be in, uh, there'll be another bundle with it soon enough. Um, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, yes, where was I, uh, Knights of Azure, no, I wasn't going to recommend that, I'm never going to, I'm never going to recommend Evolve either, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, uh, Jim, Quisi Jim Sterling from the Jim Quisition was a big fan of this game, I don't really care for it, I don't really care about the Plant vs. the Plant vs. Zombies series in any way, shape, or form, but maybe, um, Samurai Warriors 4, if you're actually a Dynasty Warriors series follower, 15 bucks for that is actually not too bad, Four bucks for Unravel, a great, sweet, wonderful game. I would actually personally recommend it for that price. It's not a bad deal. Majo to Hagiakte Revival. Essentially, it's Witch and the Hundred Knight, if you haven't heard of it. Witch and the Hundred Knight is actually a fun game. Uh, we covered it here on the channel a long time ago at eight bucks. It is an interesting prospect. Um, I, I, it, it may put you off in its styling, but um, I found it particularly fun. It was, uh, if you want to check it out, it's in the Cold Open ish, Cold Open and Made in Japan videos from over a year ago. So you really have to dig into the archive to be able to hunt that one down. Uh, so remember the name, it's The Witch and the Hundred Knight. What are you doing there? Evolve. Yeah, Evolve is free to play on uh, PC, but it's not free to play on consoles. And it has not been a fun experience at all. Um, I've never, I haven't enjoyed it in any way, shape or form. I actually got it, I got it as part of a Humble Bundle. Played it for two minutes. I was like, I played it for 15, 20 minutes. I was like, no, nope, no, can't stand it. No, nope, no, nope, don't want it. Don't want it in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, they're still charging people for it in the uh, console version. Guilty Gear Xrd for eight dollars and forty cents. If you are a fighting game fan, if you're looking forward to Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, or the the soon to be released game uh, with uh, Unbirth in Night, uh, Ruby, and what was the other game? Oh, uh, can't I can't remember what the three games linked together actually were? Oh, damn it! It's actually like it's losing my memory. Uh, the guys behind uh, Guilty Gear Zerd are the same guys are going to be behind Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Or like so, guys, <laughs> an eight buck game that's actually going to get it can fill fill your fill your gratuitous uh, fighting needs. It it looks glorious. It looks wonderful. It's a really fun game to play. Uh, oh wait, hang on. Whenever this is a like, Zerd sign. Let me check. Is this this is the right game that I'm thinking of as well, isn't it? Oh, because you know why they actually have like different revs and different games of Guilty Gear. If I'm wrong on this, I will be so annoyed. It is. It is the game I'm thinking of. Yeah, it is the fighting game. Because Guilty Gear had a kind of like third person action series as well. At one point, I just didn't want to make this mistake of it actually being the same one. All right. Uh, looking on here, anything else of major interest? Uh, Lego Marvel Superheroes. Again, more Marvel and more Leg Legos for, for you, the fun and family of the kids. Outside of that, uh, the rest of this is a lot of DLC and stuff for games I'm not going to go further through. But I thought that it's worthwhile showing you guys what's interesting in this sale currently. If you don't, if, you already, if you've already made a Hong Kong account from watching my videos previously on the channel and actually found it interesting enough to actually kind of dig into the Hong Kong store on a regular basis, then you should come back, check this out, grab a couple of cheap titles. Uh, I, I think you probably, if you grabbed a 25 buck card and came out with Guilty Gear Xrd, Gravity Rush, and uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, you wouldn't be unhappy. And you'd still have change left over to buy something else. And on top of that, if I was saying like the $50 card, there's a couple of great games in there for 20 bucks, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Resident Evil, and then fill out the rest of your 50 with a couple of smaller titles. I think it's actually a good choice. Uh, Hong Kong Store, TGS Seal. It's got a couple of good deals in it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed taking a wee look at the seals with me. And uh, if I've given you any advice and you actually have any recommendation or you have any complaints about the choices of games I made, then make sure to comment underneath and tell me what you think because uh, this is my opinion. This is my opinion on what good games are actually on the seal. You might have seen something that you really liked in there, as Hesse did, chatting about XCOM. Then, um, yeah, he, like, you do have, an, a, you have a reasonable point, Hesse. I, I completely understand when you say XCOM's a great game, but... I could, at that price of 25 bucks, 
just for the digital deluxe of the original XCOM 2. I couldn't say so. Especially whenever I got mine in the Humble Bundle, along with a dozen other games for 18 bucks. Like, that, that was... That, that's, not, that's not a great deal. Uh, even though I, I only got the standard version of XCOM 2 as well. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, like I said, comment beneath. If you actually didn't enjoy it, comment beneath. <laughs> and if you really enjoy the channel and enjoy, enjoy seeing this kind of content on the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe or the follow or the bell or whatever it is that actually comes to the particular source that you find this on. Um, all that remains to say is if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a button up there I'd really appreciate you pressing. There is a recent playlist of other stuff I've done here on the channel. Way right in the far side will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on the user analytics and the things that do on YouTube to actually check, track and check you at all times. Then they'll actually have picked a video for you right here based on your cookies and all that. Track. And I hope you enjoy it. I made it. So I enjoyed it. So um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.